Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. The heat is on in St. Lucia. AC's fans sold out. Not sure when stocks will be back in. It's heat and more heat in St. Lucia. As a matter of fact, the whole Caribbean. The current weather conditions places persons at risk of dehydration and its related effects, which include dizziness, fainting spells, and heat stress. Without taking the proper precautions, extreme heat can lead to heat stroke and even worse, death. The Ministry of Health is looking to ensure that everyone is aware of the steps that must be taken to remain safe in extreme heat. To avoid those detrimental effects of the heat, the Ministry of Health advises everyone to avoid exposure to direct sunlight. It would be prudent to limit outdoor activity in the direct sunlight during this time. Additionally, you should increase your water consumption throughout the day. Carry a water bottle to have water readily available. Also, students should be encouraged to take water breaks during classes. It should be noted that sugary drinks are not a substitute for water as they contribute to further dehydration. Let me just give you this piece of information because you want to know when we're going to get some rain as well. Well, let's take a look at the precipitation outlook for September, October and November this year. If you look at it, there is below normal rainfall, normal and above normal rainfall. If you look at the map right now, you can see places like Trinidad, still below the normal rainfall, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Dominica, way below the normal rainfall. Some places like um, Antigua and Guadeloupe, they're still in the category where they could get above normal rainfall. And places like Jamaica and um, Dominican Republic and stuff like that, that's going down September, October, November. If you look at the precipitation outlook for the Caribbean for December, January and February, well, we could start talking about an above normal rainfall. And this is for 2024 going into 2025. So Christmas, uh, then January, February, if you look at it, above normal rainfall, Trinidad, Guyana and others will be dousing in rain. And then you have um, St. Vincent, St. Lucia and those places. Good rainfall expected. And further up, there on the low side, but over places like Cuba and those places, they'll be in below normal rainfall. So... We're going to have to wait until at least December to see cooling down in the weather system that's happening across the Caribbean right now. But let's take a look at what's happening in St. Lucia, though, because I understand that everything is just going in terms of fans and ACs and stuff like that. They're being sold out in St. Lucia. It says fans, air conditioners in high demand as temperatures soar in St. Lucia. Stay indoors and only go outside when needed, says a Castries business owner responding to the sweltering heat grappling in St. Lucia. We're reading from the St. Lucia Times. So on Friday, they took to the streets of the capital to gather insights from store owners, employees, and customers about how the intense temperatures affect them and fan and air conditioner sales. They're saying that businesses disclose that they're experiencing a notable increase in demand for cooling appliances. Uh, one store, Rainbow Department, they sold out their stock. Um, they said this year's heat is worse than anything we've experienced before, the manager stated, highlighting the ongoing struggle to keep customers comfortable. Workers at Phoenix in Castries has also noticed a trend with an average of four fans leaving the store daily since June. So the heat is really on in St. Lucia. Let's continue with this article. It says the store is now completely out of stock and remains uncertain when new shipments will arrive. Matter of fact, one employee lamented this year is unbearable. Even after a shower, you sweat. One fan isn't enough. And that's the complaint all across the Caribbean. As temperatures continue to soar, she urged resellers to lower fan prices to make them more accessible and emphasize the importance of hydration, noting that even with increased water intake, many are still experiencing dehydration. Now, folks, this is a serious thing. I just showed you on the screen what's going to be taking place. So there's not going to be any relief and any let up anytime soon. Look at this chart. It says the maximum temperature outlook for the Caribbean September, September, October, November 2024 above normal temperature there's no below normal temperature going on here right now except in puerto rico 
and places like parts of Haiti. If you look at it on the screen, Trinidad is down in the 70s. That's above normal. St. Lucia, St. Vincent, right across here, Barbados, others, just way above the marker. Up in Antigua, they're just a little bit on the good side, but over in Cuba and Belize, I mean, it's just terrible. This is the maximum temperature outlook for the Caribbean, so it's heat and more heat. Your fans really won't do anything to this, and your ACs, you have to turn them on early, and it's a good piece of advice for those of you running the AC. You have to leave on the AC for the entire day. Don't take it off and on. It's going to be worse in terms of electricity bill and the cooling factor. If you put it on like say six o'clock in the morning, by nine, the place is really, really cool. You can turn the temperature down, but if you turn it off, thinking that you're just gonna save some electricity and put it back on, it's not gonna work like that. You're gonna burn more current and also the cooling fact in the house is just not gonna make any sense. So this is what it is. Um, stay hydrated, um, do what you have to do, take the necessary precautions, and we will be back with you some of the time.